lot because Michigan has held their opponents to four for 38 on third down. You see a lot of punting, probably will from Penn State. Last year, that meant Daniel Pascarello in Australia, but he's lost his starting job now. As Gene Wojciechowski joins us, though, he might be fighting for a job. Anybody looking for work or looking to find men at work will go down under to find an Australian punter there, Gino. Well, Reese, 9,899 miles away from here in Melbourne, Australia. Almost nobody cares about our college football Saturdays, but the last three Ray Guy Award winners, and that goes to the best college punter, were Australians, and a fourth might win it this year. So let's just call it what it is, the Australian Invasion. This is 41-year-old Nathan Chapman. He's the reason why college football is developing an Australian accent. Let's get legs warmed up. Bit of kick to kick, just moving around, a little bit of Aussie. Kick within each other, all right? Let's warm those legs up. During the last seven years, Chapman's Melbourne-based kicking school has exported 63 Aussie punters to some of the best college programs in the U.S. And more Aussies are on the way. You will see that our Hunters will dominate college football as the coaches allow or give them more scope to do what they do best. Do you think Aussie punters are better than American punters? In 10 years, we'll prove it. We will be, yes. That's hard to argue against. It's just really, really, you know, kind of changed our game. Chapman's players have an advantage. They all played Australian rules football or footy for short. It is known for its collisions and for how many ways and how far its players can kick that pudgy ball. We've been kicking the ball since we could walk. We don't grow up, you know, throwing a baseball, throwing a football like the star quarterback. We grow up wanting to, to hit the ball long, far, and, uh, and that, that's just what we do. Before they can become college football players, the Aussies first have to learn college football from scratch. Right on, so let's, uh, Corey, who are the Badgers? I said Wisconsin. Wisconsin, who else we got? Sign. Anyone got anything different to Wisconsin? Kirk? Oregon State. Oregon State Badgers. Right? Who else? From start to finish, the football education requires 16 hours a week for 12 to 15 months in the gym, in the mountains, and at local soccer fields. The helmets are purchased used off eBay for $50 and spray painted. The shoulder pads and footballs are hand-me-downs. But even with the classes and training, nothing is 100% foolproof. O'Neill's been terrific with the style punts. That you have to be careful here. Well, he has trouble with the snap, and the ball is free! For one horrifying split second, Michigan's Blake O'Neill forgot he was playing American football. It's picked up by Michigan State, and he scores! On the last play of the game! Unbelievable! Nothing in my psyche suggested to me I should drop on the ball, you know. It's, it's very natural to me to go and pick it up, shrug a couple tackles, and then throw it on the boot. You are part of football lore now, though. Don't really have a choice on, on that one, and happy to be a part of it, to be honest. Happy and grateful. Before earning one of those precious scholarships, most of Chapman's students worked full-time jobs to make ends meet. Peter's ice cream, Dane speaking. Until three months ago, 27-year-old Dane Roy worked the phones in a Melbourne ice cream factory. The former footy player began punting in American football by accident. Entering a 2015 national contest on a dare and winning it all on national TV. That led to Chapman's punting school and eventually led to a phone call and scholarship offer from the University of Houston that changed everything. I couldn't actually yell or speak because I was in the library and and uh, he was like, you don't sound that excited. And this is a life-changing opportunity. 
and this is this means a second chance. I know that I'm very lucky with what I've stumbled across in life at the moment, and I can't wait to get some ribs. <laughs> yep. There you go. Get the that. godfather of this Aussie invasion couldn't be happier or more proud. The repetitions of today need to be game-like. But even the teacher has some studying to do. Who has touched down Jesus? Touched down Jesus. Odell Beckham. <laughs> How much is a try safety worth? A try safety? Mm -hmm. Two points. There is no such thing. I just made that up. And who says, not so fast, my friend? Lee Corso, because he's the man. Nathan Chapman, of course, uh, started that kicking school in 2008, but oddly enough, he's never been to the States to actually see one of his punters in an actual game. Reset all changes. Next month, he's going to make the 23-plus-hour flight from Melbourne to State College to watch Nittany Lions play Ohio State Buckeyes. Juno, it is great to see you back here in Knoxville. Isn't it? You know, you, it play, really you, is. you played here, right? Nice clock is there. No, not much. Believe me. No, no, but you, you, were, you, you went to school here. You're on yeah. the ball. Look at, look at you, Dan.